Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are doing a very detailed, I guess everyday makeup routine. I don't wear makeup every day, but I do wear makeup often, as you guys know. I get compliments from this makeup routine on people complimenting my makeup and how smooth it looks. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to master your everyday makeup routine. I will also be including the brushes that I'm using in this video down below, as well as all the products will be down below. And yeah, let's get started. Very first product. This is my favorite primer right now. This is the Morphe Foaming Face Primer. It's a collaboration with Meredith um, Duxbury. I don't know if this is a permanent product. I hope it is because this product is so nice. I like the way my skin looks when I apply it. I'm not like a huge fan of primers, if I'm being honest. I feel like most of them are kind of pointless in a sense. Now, don't get me wrong, there are a lot of primers, obviously, like this one, that are good, but majority of them, I feel like you could do without them. But this primer, I love how my skin looks. I like how it's like a little bit tacky as well to where the foundation sticks to it. Now, this right here, definitely a definite recommendation. This is the YSL New Bare Look Tint. This foundation is beautiful. It's stunning. Every time I wear this, I get compliments on how smooth my skin looks. People compliment not just like how smooth it looks, but they'll say like, I can't believe your makeup is still on. So also everything that I'm doing is for the long wearing of your makeup. Cause I do live in South Florida. It's a hotter climate. It is light to medium coverage. Like you can kind of build it, but in my opinion, I really like to have a light foundation and then go in and spot conceal extra areas but that's definitely personal preference i just think it gives you a more natural finish to apply this i'm actually using the sigma f89 brush i love all sigma brushes so any foundation brush from sigma is nice this is just a brush i grabbed really quick i feel like i toggle between a lot of them but this is the one that i'm using right now the f89 now we are going to move on to conceal Sealer. Now, let me find it. If y'all could see this disc. <laughs> Uh, this is kind of embarrassing. For concealer, I am currently using the Kylie Cosmetics um, Power Plush Longwear Concealer. This concealer is really nice. It's very smooth. I really like the coverage of it. The shade is a little bit lighter, just so that you guys already know this part, but just so that I get a little bit of a brightening situation. But one thing I will note, if you're a beginner and you're new to makeup, because this routine is beginner friendly. It's a lot of steps, but it's nothing too complicated you guys can't recreate. If you are new to makeup, a lighter concealer like this is strategically placed. So you only wanna place it in the areas that you want to bring light back into your face. When I was saying earlier that you can spot conceal areas that you want to like cover up, like stuff over here, or like maybe up here, then you would wanna use a concealer that is your skin tone. On my chin, I only put that there to highlight. I'm not using that to cover up there. When it comes to underneath my eyes, I'm using this to highlight as well as cover up, only because I am wearing a foundation on the rest of my face. If I was going foundation less, then I would definitely use a concealer that is my skin tone, but that's like making it a little bit more complicated, so I'm trying to not explain too much into that, but I just want you guys to know that this concealer is light like this because of the routine that I'm doing. I'm doing a full face, so this is the shade that I would use. I am blending this in with a Sigma F64 brush. Now this brush is one of my favorites. I've been using this brush for years. It blends it really flawlessly and it doesn't take away the coverage. Sometimes when you use a sponge, it'll take away some of the coverage. This brush just blends it without taking away the coverage. We have this like line of concealer here. Don't worry, we are going to fix that. So when you're doing your routine, if that happens, I'm gonna show you guys how to fix it. After everything is primarily blend it out we are going to go back in with that foundation brush and we are going to blend the edges we're not going to go all the way up just the edges so that it seamlessly blends you shouldn't have to add any more um, foundation to your brush but if you do feel the need to do that then just add like a tiny tiny amount and you guys can just see my skin already just looks smooth it's definitely not heavy at all it doesn't look cakey or anything it kind of just looks like you know 
well natural skin to be honest and when we set it it's gonna look even more smooth so i actually like to use a cream uh, bronzer and a powder bronzer like the way that bronzers look more so than contours on my skin bronzer is more of a warm tone which i think looks beautiful on melanin skin both do but i especially think that bronzer more warm tones bring out the warm tones in our skin contour shades are more of like a gray toned and they're primarily used to create a shadow to give the appearance that you have high cheekbones and stuff but i feel like you can get that same look with bronzer shades so i prefer to use bronzer shades the cream bronzer that i'm using is from rare beauty it's the full of life bronzer stick that's the shade name full of life and i am just blending this in with the sigma soft angled contour brush also known as the f23 a lot of the brushes from sigma have two names and when I blend in both the concealer and the um, bronzer shade, I'm keeping it in the area in which I applied it. I'm not really trying to blend too far outside the area because it's strategic placing when it comes to the concealer, the bronzer. The only place that's like all over is the foundation. Less is definitely more when it comes to your base routine. I feel like you can get the look that you're looking for with a lighter hand. And you can always add more if you want to add more like more concealer or more bronzer but once you add it's hard to take away i would definitely layer meaning use a little at a time and then okay so for powder i'm using the one size setting powder this is in the shade sweet honey i actually cut off the top part because i really don't understand that part it like comes with a flap but it prevents like the powder from coming out so i cut it off to set i am actually using one of these triangle powder puffs that i absolutely love I don't know what it is about these um, triangle powder puffs that set your makeup so smooth as opposed to a brush because I used a brush for years and then I saw of course that this went viral so I tried it out for myself and they're super inexpensive on Amazon I'll have them linked below but they make such a difference and I don't know why but it's almost like it presses and smooths it I don't know the science behind it but it is definitely a difference in the smoothness of your makeup with these triangle powder puffs they are definitely worth the hype <laughs> so i am setting again in the same areas that i want to bring more of a highlight to the look i am setting directly underneath where i applied the bronzer stick and then i am uh, setting underneath the eyes i'm setting down the bridge of my nose and on my chin and to help with like my smile lines from creasing i'm also going to set over here on my forehead because i do get oily in my t-zone so this is like the areas that i'm gonna set with the loose setting powder so this is a loose setting powder not a pressed one which i think is a lot better if you have oily skin a loose powder really helps to absorb that now this is another product that i highly highly recommend for like the smooth airbrushness of your skin this is the sephora micro smooth baked face powder i wear the shade almonds this is what it looks like i am gonna take this brush right here this is a elf complexion duo brush it has two sides but i rarely use this side i am just going to kind of press in to this and right now i am just going to dust away on top of my brows this area and on my forehead because i'm about to fill in my brows and you did see me sit by my eyebrows or on top of my eyebrows and all that because i actually think eyebrow pencils stay longer when you do set them first because if your skin is like shiny or oily then you could easily make a mistake and wipe your brow off. I am just gonna fill in my brows really quick. This is the Rare Beauty Brow Pencil. Just a quick tutorial because I feel like this is mostly about the base. But the way I fill in my brows, outline the top, outline the bottom, and then fill in the center. That's like very general of what I do. I think I moved the camera, but anyway. <laughs> so now I'm gonna take that same powder and I'm basically going to dust this all over my skin except like 
like super close underneath the eyes and kind of in circular motions like this. And you are seeing me go on top of where we applied that bronzer stick very lightly. And that's just to make it seamless. After I do that, I am gonna go on top with a powder bronzer. Now this is the same line basically of the baked uh, micro smooth powders, which they do, it's micro smooth is it because these are very smooth powders. This is the bronzer that I use. I've dropped this palette and broke a piece off. That's why it looks like that. This is the main thing I use in this, but I do use all of these. It's hard to run out of a highlighter, to be honest. The amount that I've used of this, I haven't even made a dent. And these blushes are super pretty as well, but I have another blush that I love, so. But this entire palette is really, really nice. Definitely don't have to go outside this palette for those other stuff. I am going in, this is a MAC 159S brush that has all these rhinestone, these jewels on it. They sent me this. I don't know the significance, but it is so beautiful. And I just use it currently for bronzer. So I am going in lightly, being strategic as well to not go like below where I had kind of cut the cheek. I like how this warms up the skin as well. On my jawline, I kind of like to just do it like on the chin area, not too much down here. This is one of those less is more. <laughs> From experience, you can mess up bronzer super fast. Now I am actually gonna go in with the Sigma Kristen Dominique collection. It's the Brighten and Bake brush. And I just use this to dust away the powder underneath the eyes. Now, uh, it's kind of like the middle of the routine. So I'm gonna go in with the Morphe Continuous Prep and Set Mist Plus. And then for blush, I'm using the House Lab blush. This is called Watermelon Bliss. It looks so scary. <laughs> and it kind of is scary because a little goes a long way. Like I have over applied this blush a numerous amount of times, barely tapped into the blush and then tapped off my brush and applied it. Like you're never gonna run out of this blush ever. Like, I don't know if you can see just how little is on my brush, but like seriously, a little goes a long way. So I definitely built this one. And this is a Lawless Blush brush. Dab off the lip balm that I have on. And that was just like the clear lip balm from Road. I actually just posted a lip swatch video of the tinted ones, but that one was the clear one. About to apply a nude lip. I've never used this lip before. It's, uh, well, this color. I've used these new lipsticks from MAC. They are the Locked Kiss lipsticks. And this is in the shade Meticulous. I am going to line my lips with MAC Chestnut first. Oh, that is so pretty. It's like my perfect nude. And then for mascara, you guys, we are going to use the Hella Thick Mascara from Fenty. This mascara is so pretty. <laughs> pretty. How can a mascara be pretty? It makes your lashes look so pretty. If you like that thick look, which I definitely do. This is the before and after, like... For real, so nice. The highlight is honestly optional. I like to take, this is the Fenty Beauty Mean Money and Hustler Baby. I don't even know which one is which. I think Hustler Baby is the one that I use. <laughs> the more shiny one. Do a bit of inner corner highlights, but I like to take it and line it up here as well. And I feel like it gives like a very glowy, pretty look. And I always blend it out as well. It's a little bronzer on this brush. Like if you didn't know that I placed that there, you would just think, ooh, she's just glowy. <laughs> and then I also apply a little bit on the bottom inner corner. Okay, and then another spray. If you're like me and you messily apply your mascara, don't forget to use Q-tip. <laughs> Cause I always make a mess, always. And this is the completed look, you guys. I don't even know where to look. I keep looking over here and looking over there. I absolutely love this routine. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I don't really do as much eyeshadow as I used to. So this is like my bread and butter for uh, my base routine. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video down below in the comments. Thank you guys truly for watching my videos. Make sure that you subscribe down below and thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. And I will have all the products that I use as well as um, the brushes that I use down below. But yeah, I promise. I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.